In 2022, fires happen all over the country. According to the International Transaction Journal of Engineering, Management, and Applied Sciences and Technology, the average number of fire incidents in the Philippines number around 15,700 per year on average, and the numbers aren't going down. I know what you're thinking, fire prevention sounds boring, because it's one of those things we don't really think about until the fire hits and it's too late. So listen closely because the next tips I'm about to share might even save your life. Hi, this is Architect Nico. Every year, millions of homes around the world are damaged or destroyed by fires. Today, I'd like to share some tips on how to make your homes more fire safe. So let's start off by decoding the fire triangle and understanding it better so we could break the triangle. The fire triangle is a concept that explains how fires start and what sustains burning them. Behind every fire are the fire triangle's three elements, fuel, heat, and oxygen. Ever present in all our homes are these three elements. We have wood, paper, fabrics, and cloth all over our homes, and these provide the fuel sources. We have stoves, heaters, and even our electrical circuits that may heat up, and these provide heat sources. And of course, the air we breathe contains the oxygen, that's the last element in the fire triangle. Understanding how all of these elements come to play could make us more aware and cautious of how to prevent fires in our homes. Oxygen may be the most difficult of the three elements to manage, which is why we'd like to focus on fuel and heat, since these are the two elements that we can control. Now that we understand the fire triangle, let's talk about some tips that will help keep your home safe. First tip, use fire resistant materials. When building or decorating your home, it would be a good idea to consider the type of materials used because some materials have better fire resistant properties than others. For example, gypsum board has a better fire rating capacity than plywood. Houses in the past used to use plywoods for the ceilings and unfortunately, the ceilings are also where electrical wires would pass. This would make it prone to spreading fire easily between rooms and burning down the whole house quickly. With the use of gypsum boards, not only is it more economical, the fire rating capacity of gypsum board is better, and this has helped avoid the spread of fires many times. Second tip, use quality wires or original brands when wiring your homes. Fake wires tend to be much thinner with less copper and less insulation. These could easily lead to fires. Remember that wires run all throughout our homes and just as easily they could spread as well. Pro tip, make sure your contractors use quality wires and original brands when doing the electrical works inside your homes. Even when building on a budget, make sure you use quality electricals every time. This can go a long way in your fire prevention. Third tip, avoid overloading your circuits at home. It's a common occurrence and problem that we see here in the Philippines where we tend to think that we can just plug anything into our outlets. It'd be a good idea to understand the electrical load that our homes are designed for. And if you're not sure, you could just call up your electrician to check on this for, for you. Several years back, I would frequent this place that was close to me with computer shops, stores, restaurants, and other types of establishments. I observed that a lot of the connections there were informally done or a lot of extension cords were used. It took many years before anything had happened, but one day the building finally burned down, unfortunately. And so we should never take these things for granted, even if it seems safe for many years. It just takes one day for us to regret it. Fourth tip, have an escape plan. It's so important to have an emergency exit in all of our homes. Try to avoid grills when possible. I understand that security might be an issue for some of us, but our lives are also equally important. And this is to be considered during emergencies like fires. Make sure to have the key close by if needed, because every second could make the biggest difference. Pro tip, practice your escape plan at least once a year. Make sure that everybody knows this escape plan well, whether it's you, your family, kids, and even the staff. Because during a fire, everybody panics, and we'd like everybody to be able to handle it instinctively if practiced well enough. I'm serious, this could make the biggest difference in saving someone's life. Fifth tip, fire safety equipment. Let's all make sure that we have fire extinguishers inside our homes. Aside from that, let's make sure that our fire extinguishers are not expired and very accessible and that everybody knows where they're being kept. Pro tip, when we buy fire extinguishers, let's read the instructions or ask the vendor how to use them. 
I'm sure many of us have them in our homes, but we don't care to read or we don't even know how to operate them and we think having them around is good enough. It's important to know how to operate them and otherwise they're not of much use to us. How to use a fire extinguisher. Pull the pin, aim low, squeeze the trigger, sweep side to side, evacuate. Additionally, let's continue to practice to be conscious of keeping away our flammable materials from our heat sources. Keeping candles away from things like wood, paper, or curtains at home. Also other heat sources like leaving the iron or even our cooking in the kitchen unattended could be very dangerous. By understanding the fire triangle and doing these fire prevention tips, we can keep our homes and our families safe from fires. Let's remember to always be vigilant because prevention is the most important thing because once a fire happens, it's already too late. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, click here to like and subscribe. And click here for more tips on how to build your dream home.